get your Ingenium engine, which probably would have put a lot of people off. Just got to hope that it, you know, sounds all right and drives all right, because McCordy's left us now. That sounds good. Oh, no. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. More on that later in the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. Today you join me in the passenger seat of the Navara. Macaulay is driving us to BCA Bristol. He's on his way up to Bradford, the lucky boy. Before you say anything about buying a car from Bradford, this isn't some random one, this is a guy we know, another trader, so he's gonna go and pick up a nice Audi A6 later, but well, we hope it's nice. On the way though, we are gonna go and pick up a Jaguar F-Pace, the SUV, that I bought a little while ago that I thought they seem to be representing a lot of good value at the moment and I'm trying to move into that kind of what do you call it SUV prestige nicer stuff hopefully with higher margins in and I just can't believe that we bought this it is on a hundred thousand miles just over but for under nine and a half grand on a 68 plate it is the two litre ingenium engine which probably would have put a lot of people off but I think it will be okay. I'm hopeful anyway, but you never know. That is the name of this game. You've got to take some risk. It's a manual as well, but a lot of people will like that. I won't, but some will. So we are going to get out there. We'll check it over when it comes out and yeah, see how it drives back. see it at the back there just got to hope that it you know sounds all right and drives all right because McCordy's left us now we've only got one car so if it won't drive home then uh, we're stuck we're getting a train back which I don't think you can get from Avon Mouth Docks to be honest you have to buy something else very quickly and then book a collection and then we'll just steal something else or we could just be one of, you know the tray plate guys Tray plate drivers just gonna stick our tray plate, see if we can just get a lift back to Junction 22 or something. That sounds good. I thought that was a bloody like. I thought that was someone with a pneumatic thing for a minute. Sounds smooth enough. kit and everything in there and we've got a Ford battery. Interesting. You've got enough space there. Like, look how much extra storage space you've got. I suppose you could have a spare wheel but instead we've just got a pump kit. We must have had some paint at some point. As soon as I grab that handle Start pulling, I can feel masking tape on the back of that handle. Maybe that door is a slightly darker shade. We'll know better when we clean that properly. It's right they've done it, Tobes. For what we paid, under 10 grand. Can you imagine buying one of these? I remember when these came out and I was like, that's the coolest thing ever. It's obviously not the most fancy in spec, but I bet you would drive nice because it's got a bunch of tires and everything on it. Seems to be purring away nicely, so hop in, find if we've got any fuel and get back. You wouldn't Adam and Eve it, we've got over half a tank. It's a bit grubby, I've got to admit, but A nice uh, Alcantara, Valori, whatever it is, fake Alcantara headlining. Can't remember to use a clutch. God, that's pretty agricultural. Temperature. This is for our heated seats, I guess. Oh yeah. Okay. Do you want a heated seat, Tote? Yeah. You do. You've got full whammy. What can we have on here? I wonder if we've got TV or anything. That's our cameras. Have we got 360 cameras? We've got 
rear. Mm, I guess not. Nice camera though, nice screen. It's got a little cubby hole. Have you got a little cubby hole down this? Yeah, you yeah, have as well. And we've got a big, save me, save me some money. You can get these in a three liter as well, diesel, which I think would probably be my preferred engine, but these Ingeniums are actually pretty good until they're not. But we have a quite a few of these now, so we're getting quite good at knowing what we need to look at and whatever. Seems to be like EGR flow is a common problem, and they've got like an EGR strainer, like this slightly little pasta sieve in the EGR thing. They get it out, clean it, put a new one in, or clean it, whichever. Um, I'm sure some people take them out and don't replace them, so that there's good flow, but it's quite easy to clean them, to be honest. Um, i trying to think what else. Timing chains can be an issue, but I don't think they're actually, mm, I could be wrong, I could be talking rubbish, I don't think they're that bad to change, but they could be. But, she seems lovely. Personally, I prefer it in an auto, but the gearbox does feel a bit sort of, I don't know. It doesn't match the rest of it. It feels very premium, luxury, and whatever in here, and this feels, like it could be on like an Isuzu D-Max or something. It's a bit, don't know, not very positive. Don't know how to describe it, but not very plush. It just feels a bit flimsy, but seems to do the job okay. Oh, brakes are good. Looks like we've got race mode and what happens? Oh. Dynamic. <laughs> oh no. Oh, now let's put the handbrake on. That's embarrassing. Shouldn't have put it into dynamic mode. Uh, right, what other modes do we have? Dynamic. Just dynamic. Or the, the other way is normal, eco. Oh, we've got rain, ice, and snow mode as well. Just put it in normal for now so we don't stall at the lights and get a Skoda Kajar up our bottom again. For anyone who comes to the BCA Bristol, well, I suppose it depends which direction you're coming from, but I miss the BCA Portbury docks since they set up the Bristol because it used to be a Bristol branch until lockdown and they brought it in. It was Bridgewater or Birmingham were the two closest for us, and they brought in the Bristol, so that's great. And that's where we've just been, but on the other side of the road. So it was just a car park, and they had like a little port cabin in it, which is kind of what they've got now, but they had both sides of the road, and they would drive the cars over the bridge. But in the interim, while they're swapping from where they were on one side of the road to where they are now, they also had a site by Kazoo in Portbury Docks, which was that bit closer to us. We didn't even have to cross... No, we... No, we didn't have to even cross the Avonmouth Bridge. And it was right off the road, whereas this is a bit of a rat run to get down to this estate. So, yeah, I don't know if you're a driver or a dealer and you deal with cars from Bristol. Do you miss Portbury like I do? Shall we start a, uh, what do they call it, petition to bring BTA Portbury back? It's one of my favorite, to be fair. drives absolutely spot on this thing. This is actually really nice. I don't think this is going to hang around for long at all. Bearing in mind we bought this for under 10 grand. I can't remember all the figures of what it will be retail, but I imagine it's going to be at least 14, 15 retail valuation out. I think it's going to be popular being white. Manual will probably help it. The amount of times we've had automatic, say Discovery Sports and things in, people come and say, oh, I'm looking for a manual one. You wouldn't have thought, but people still like a manual gearbox. It drives spot on and just it seems like crazy value. I can't remember what the tax is on this. I can't remember if it's a cheap one because it's the two litre Ingenium. Probably not because this probably is four wheel drive. But when we get back, we will do a vehicle score. We can check out the tax, MOT, history, all that sort of stuff. We will see how we get on. Look at that for a lovely navigation display. Right, we'll see you when we get back to the garage. We'll give this a clean up, tell you to get some cinematics and I will talk you through some of the details and the figures to then.
below. HelloFresh is the meal delivery service which provides great value, fresh ingredients to your doorstep with some amazing recipe choices. We all know how easy it is to order fast food or get stuck in your same usual recipes. HelloFresh changes all that by delivering fresh ingredients and easy to follow recipes so you always have what you need to create interesting and healthy meals. Personally, I love how much time and money it saves me, not having to buy and plan meals. Recipes start at just 15 minutes to cook and just £3.15 per serving. Thanks to HelloFresh sponsoring this video, you can now get 60% off your first box and 20% off the next two months. And on top of that, you'll also get free desserts for life, which you don't want to miss. Have a holiday planned? Well, make the most of the easy pause feature so you don't waste a box and you come home to a fresh box of meals waiting for you. Use my code SHIFTINGMETAL60 or follow the QR code on screen to get this deal while you can. Now, let's check out how this Jaguar cleans up. Right, there we have it. So there is our Jaguar F-Pace. It's actually a really, really nice car. It's cleaned up really well. It's really nice to drive. And I think, I guess this being an F-Pace would be, don't shoot me if I'm wrong, but like an equivalent of a Discovery Sport, um, obviously made by the same people. But I think I prefer this more. It just feels really nice, premium. And we must have had it in stock for a day or two before we've got someone on it already. And I think we're just waiting on finance paperwork going through and this will be sold. So. I would definitely keep an eye out for more of these because they seem to be coming really good value. So if you're looking for a nice kind of quality SUV, then maybe a Jaguar F-Pace or E-Pace might be something that uh, is now in your budget that may not have been before. But that is it for this video. So if you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a like. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. If you are one of our subscribers, when we hit 75,000, I'm giving away a free Tag Heuer watch worth £2,000. It's completely free to get involved, so may as well get on board and see future videos like this where we're picking up cars from auction. If you did enjoy this type of content where we're picking up cars and kind of getting them cleaned up and then showing you the end result when they're in the showroom, let me know in the comments. It's always really useful to know what you guys are enjoying watching. And if you've got a spare minute after watching this video, head over to my raffle website, feelgoodcompetitions.com, where we're raffling off cars and watches, many other things that you can win for a very cheap price, and it helps us support local causes that are really important to us. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.